Let's talk less and fix more roof. Welcome back to another video. Today we're here at Delray, New Jersey, and we got some tips if you get hit by a storm. Number one, if you got damage from the storm, this house, what happened, the tree came down. As soon as you get, as soon as you remove that tree, you have to get it watertight. You gotta put a tarp to prevent further damage. That's the first step. Number two, you gotta call your insurance and let them know what's going on so they can schedule the adjuster to come out. Number three, you gotta make sure that you hire the proper roofing company that they can't, they know how to deal with the insurance. So this damage happens April 1st. Today with July, July 7th. So it has been almost four months. And finally, we've been going back and forth with the insurance, finally the approval for everything, and now we're doing the job. So with our experience, we're able to get this whole, the main house, the garage, and the shed cover through the insurance. Again, the insurance, their job is not to pay out. Their job is to collect deductibles. So when it's time to pay out, they got all the excuses and they don't want to pay out. But we were relentless, we worked with them, and finally we get the job done by the homeowner so let me show you what we got going on over here and what type of damage they got so come on now we're here in the garage this tree used to be right here and it used to be probably 70 80 foot tall tree it came down it hit this side of the garage damaging the gutter the fascia and some of the raptor tails so you can see right there and plywood we covered this with a tarp just to prevent and make sure they didn't get more damage finally we we're able to get here so we replace two by six fascia we put some raptor tails new plywood and it's already finished the guys are doing the cap we're gonna get up there and I can show you how uh, we do the cap but we have to come back do the soffit and fascia and the last thing they're gonna get is gutter so that's why you got to make sure you hire the proper company so they can get paid and one tip now it just came back to me by law the homeowner has to pay the deductible typically a deductible is from 500 to a thousand dollars we cannot absorb the deductible we can't pay for it as a company the homeowner has to pay for it by law so don't even if you are a homeowner don't even try that with your contractor why because they don't look good in orange neither do you that is insurance for us so that's a big red flag or my contractors if a homeowner wants you to eat the deductible you run go the other way that's not your customer so now we're going to get up there i almost forgot that good tip so let's go now we're on top of the roof right in this area where with the tree got hit hit the the garage and as you guys can see can't tell we did a beautiful job making sure all the rafter with the same all the plywood it looks beautiful so eventually when this homeowner wants to sell this house there's nothing that can tell that this garage got damaged by a tree we use a certain teed roof system in here and let me explain a little bit about ventilation this is the ridge band this is what it looks like and at the ridge every roof the highest point we either install ridge band and caps or just caps. This caps get installed by two nails, one here and one over here. We hand nail all our caps and our ridge band. Why? You can use the gun, but sometimes the guys, they forget to adjust it and they blow right through the cap, damaging the cap. So it's not installed properly. Eventually, if the wind comes around, it catches it and it blows it away. That's why we hand nail all of caps. This is the finished touch. Regiment and caps is the finished touch for a complete roof system. By certainty, we install drip edge, icing water shield, premium underlayment, the shingles, Regiment and caps. So all the components made by them. And one extra thing that we do, show you right here, we call not exposed nails. So as you guys can see, we put this nail then this cap covers it and then this one and this cap covers it once you get to the end there's going to be see it's still fresh there's going to be this exposed nail so what we do is we seal that nail with this special 
caulk. And then we put a piece of shingle on top to cover that. So we don't have exposed nails on the whole entire roof system. Everything is covered. So if you like this type of videos, please like, comment, and subscribe so you can see more.